Okay, YouTube, this is Accelerator Joshua. I wanted to show a quick video on tuning an autococker. Uh, keep in mind, each autococker is different, so you might yours might have the adjustment, it might not. So I'm going to run down what uh, adjustments mine can make. Uh, this is the 04 Pro Stock. Uh, first thing you want to do is adjust your back block right here. Very easy to do. All you have to make sure is that it barely touches uh, the body. You don't want it too far back and you don't want it to slam against your body because you're going to be scratching and messing up the back body. Uh, so, you know, just make sure that you can squeeze a little bit of paper in between there and you should be set. Uh, the way you would, you would adjust it is you take off your caulking rod right here. Let's do this quickly. Okay, and then you can just go ahead and simply turn it backwards or forwards in order to adjust it. Okay, that's all there's to that one. It's fairly simple pretty straightforward. Let's put this back on there. Okay. Something else you want to adjust is also your uh, your bolt. You want to make sure it's not sticking too far in when you pull the trigger and you also want to make sure it's not too far back because you don't want to you don't want to chop paint and the way you do that is you simply um, start slowly bringing it back. What should happen here is uh, your bolt which is inside should clear the breech once you hear the gun click so as, as soon as you are as soon as uh, the gun is cocked and, and you hear it click your your bolt should be a, should be lined up against the back wall which is down here back there okay let me try to show you should be able to hear it click and the bolt should be clear Okay. Let me do it again just in case you didn't hear it. Okay, so it looks fine. Um, if you needed to adjust it, all you would have to do is uh, undo your cocking rod. Okay. Now, if your bolt is too far forward, what you want to do is take a small hex key, put some adjustable pliers here. You unscrew it, and this one you turn it clockwise. Okay, you turn it clockwise this way, like this. What that's going to do is this part is going to go forward, which means it's going to grab the bolt more. Okay, if your bolt is too far back, then what you do is you move this back. To move your bolt forward, you turn this inward. Okay, inside clockwise. To move your bolt back, you turn it counterclockwise turn it in this direction that's all there's to it so once you get that adjusted or you think you have it go ahead and screw it back on put your caulking rod back on and check if your your bolt is clearing the breach properly okay let's check here I haven't adjusted anything but that's how you would do it Okay, mine seems to be fine, so there's no need for me to adjust it. Okay. Uh, sec another thing would be the LPR, your low pressure regulator, which is right here in the front. Okay. This is the LPR, this is the high pressure regulator. Uh, on this model, I cannot adjust the output pressure on the, on the high pressure regulator. It's just stock, it's preset, so I can't do anything to it. But I can adjust uh, the low pressure regulator. Uh, you can see there's a hex key there. Okay. Okay. You can't, it's hard to see, but uh, you, you can take a hex key and and adjust it. And the way you want to adjust it is um, once you once you air it up, what you want to do is press on your back block. If it's way too hard for you to press it inward when it's aired up and you're holding the trigger, then you can turn down your pressure. The way you do it is you screw it clockwise. You screw it in that reduces your pressure. You're closing the water, okay? So that reduces your pressure. If it's too soft and you want to high and you want to raise your pressure, then you unscrew it or you screw it counterclockwise to back out the nut right here. You back it out, that means there's more room, there's more air going in. That's how you would adjust it. Lastly, but, um, another thing you want to adjust on on the autocockers as well is uh, 
how your how 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 your gun is shooting uh, your trigger pull. What you want it to do is shoot and then recock. Let me air this up quickly to show you how this one is doing it. Okay, so you want it to shoot, then recock. Okay, shoot, then recock. That's how it's supposed to be. If it's not doing it that way, then you have to retime your auto cocker. So mine seems to be okay. Mine uh, is a very short trigger pull. As soon as I'm pulling it, it'll shoot and then it'll recock. Okay. So that's pretty good. As you can see it doesn't skip at all. So it's it's pretty well timed. Um, I wouldn't adjust anything on it, but let me run down to, through the other things that you can adjust on this. Let's unscrew the tank. Now keep in mind when you're adjusting these, um, your regular dust hole there, so you want to make sure you get it out. Okay, so there. Now, if for some reason my my gun would be recocking and then shooting. I would have to adjust the trigger pull and the three way, the recocking, which is back here. Let's just zoom in on this. Okay. This is how you would adjust when you want your gun to recock. You unscrew, where is it? It's on the other side. Okay, you can see it through this side. Okay, there's two set screws. One in the back and one in the front. Mine, you can't see it. They're not lined up because I, that's how I adjusted mine. Okay. Uh, normally, you see on the front one, just leave it alone. The back one, you can unscrew it and and use it as you want. Okay. Now, how do you adjust it? Once you loosen up this back screw, if you want your trigger pull to move, if if you want your recocking to be sooner, you screw this forward clockwise to bring it forward. If you want your trigger pull to happen later or delay your recocking, not the trigger pull, the recocking. Okay, this is the, this is how to recock, not the trigger pull. Okay, so to make your recocking sooner, clockwise, turn it inwards, clockwise. Okay, if you want to bring your recocking back or later in the trigger pull, you back it out. That'll delay it counterclockwise. Okay, once you get that set. Then you want to make sure your trigger pull or it, your gun fires, your firing sequence, when the gun is going to fire. The way you adjust that is through here. Take off your bolt and pin, which are these, here's the bolt. Take that out, and what you want to do is stick an Allen key right through that little hole. Right there. Now, for adjusting your trigger pull, if you turn it clockwise, which is going inward clockwise, that's going to make it shoot later. It's going to delay your shooting. If you back out that screw, or if you turn it counterclockwise, it's going to shoot sooner or earlier in the trigger pull. Okay? So it's very simple stuff, very basic. Uh, but like I said, every autococker is different. So uh, uh, look up online or ask questions. There's a Tech BB, there's PB Nation, there's CockerNet, which is a um, Cocker Punk. He knows a lot about auto cockers. There's a lot of videos out there. Uh, this one is uh, particular for the 04. As, as you see, I didn't adjust many things on it because it's already timed. I don't want to get it out of time. So I'll just leave it as it is, but I'll show you where it needs to be timed. Okay? So uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Any questions or comments, uh, go ahead and let me know. Bye.